Top myths about being Christian. All Christians are or should be perfect. This one is unequivocal cap. Christians are just as imperfect as everybody else, if not more imperfect. Romans 3 verse 23, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means every single person to come out their mother's womb, deacons, pastors, missionaries, everybody messes up. Ever since the fall of Adam and Eve in the garden, we were destined to live a life of sin. Hence this verse right here, Romans 5, verse 8 through 9, God sending his only son, Jesus Christ, to die the death that we should have died and suffer the punishment that we should have suffered. Shout out, Jesus. Christians don't have fun. This is another one that is nowhere near the truth. Me personally, I could say ever since I got saved, I probably have more fun now than I had then. The thing is, it's two different types of fun. Then it was all temporary satisfaction. I pull up to whoever I was pulling up to, feeling empty. I get whatever I was looking for but just for that moment in time and leave feeling just as empty as I came. So now you're stuck in a cycle of having to go to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing just to chase that feeling of satisfaction. But now it's like everything I'm doing is fulfilling, whether it's emotionally, mentally, financially, I'm leaving with the feeling of fulfillment. And rather than being stuck in that slavery, having to chase the next thing over and over again, I'm free. And I'm, I'm going to jump into that in, that in this next verse. Galatians 5, 13, for we were called to freedom. Do not get it twisted. A lot of people think when you get saved, oh, God is all about some, oh, you can't do this, or oh, we can't do that, we shouldn't say this. When you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, Jesus came to free us, not to bind us. A lot of the different things that we were called not to do and not what not to do is to protect us because God knows the ramifications and the consequences of the actions that we may want to take. And if we do take those actions, so he sets guidelines in place like, yo, I love you so much that I don't want this to happen to you. So this is why I don't want you to do this. If that makes sense.